As you progress in Tears of the Kingdom, you're going to want to upgrade your armour. So upgrading gives you better stats, plus you'll be able to unlock hidden features. Today, I'm going to walk through the quest to unlock upgrading armour through the Great Fairy Fountains. I'm going to go through all the locations, plus what you need to do, so you can upgrade your armour as fast as possible in The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Tears of the Kingdom content. Well, to be able to upgrade your armor, you will need to unlock the Great Fairy Fountains. It's slightly different from Breath of the Wild. It's not just a matter of finding the location of the Great Fairies. You're going to need to wake them up before you can access their upgrades. Okay, first of all, let's have a look at how to upgrade armor. So to get access to the Fairy Fountains, you'll need to visit each one with a musical troupe called the Stable Trotters. So we start off with just two members and slowly build back the band and unlock each of the Great Fairy Fountains as we go. So I'm going to go through the precise steps for each Great Fairy in a moment, but feel free to skip ahead if you want to. So when you've unlocked the Great Fairy Fountains, you'll speak to them, pay a small fee of rupees, plus exchange materials to upgrade your armor pieces. You can be able to see the materials needed when speaking to the Great Fairies, for example, to upgrade my Hylian trousers from 3 to 5, that cost me 5 Bokoblin horns, and it gets progressively more expensive the more you upgrade. If the armour isn't highlighted when you speak to the Great Fairy, then you probably don't have the materials, or you can't upgrade that piece at the moment. Also, you're going to find shrines next to most of the Great Fairy fountains, so make sure you get those fast travel points. After you speak to the first Great Fairy, their location of all of them will be marked on your map. Okay, next up, how to unlock all enhancement levels for your armor. So to upgrade your armor pieces further, you're going to need to unlock more Great Fairy Fountains. So there's four in total, and each time you speak to the Great Fairies, they're going to be able to upgrade your armor, ranging from a little bit to the maximum. If they cannot upgrade your armor, it's likely down to the lack of materials. So check the materials requirements and come back later to upgrade. When you've got a complete set of armor, there is a chance for the Great Fairies to unlock their full potential, and you can do this by upgrading each piece twice. If the armor set is eligible, then you'll get a new power, and not all armor sets have the potential, so it's worth hunting down armor sets and searching out the upgrades with the Great Fairies. Okay, next up, let's have a look at where to find all the Great Fairy Fountains. So, we've been through how to upgrade armor, but you're going to want to find and unlock each of the Great Fairy Fountains to get started. Each one has multiple steps as you'll be getting the band back together, plus creating some vehicles using Ultra Hand to help out your new musical friends. So you've got four great fairy fountains in all corners of Hyrule, and they're located near a stable. When you speak to the first fairy, then they're going to mark the other three on your map, and that'll make finding them nice and easy. And as soon as you unlock the first one, then you can start upgrading your armor, but ideally you want to unlock all of them to upgrade your armor to their full potential. So first up, you want to start with the Woodland Stable in Elden Canyon, and the coordinates there are 1046-1145-0022, and this is west of Pico Pond and also near Crenel Hills. The first of the two members of the musical troupe, the Stable Trotters, they are there, and they'll mention the Lucky Clover Gazette, that's a newspaper, and they want them to hear their story, so you have to go and find them. The Lucky Clover Gazette is near Rito Village at the coordinates minus three two five one one seven seven two zero one one eight and you're going to want to have a chat with tracy after a quick chat you're going to start a side adventure called potential princess sightings and that'll take you across all the stables in hyrule and once you've spoken to them go back to the woodland stable okay first of all we've got great fairy terror so pen is speaking to the musical troupe and you want to speak to all of them this will kick off the side adventure Serenade to a Great Fairy, where you need to fix their carriage. So you've got some spare parts next to the carriage to attach the wheels with Ultra Hand, and then you need to get a horse from the stable. If you haven't got a horse yet, then there's some around the stable. You can catch one by crouching and walking up to them slowly and taming them. If you do have a horse already, get it out of the stable, and you're going to need two pony points to get a harness. Every time you access a stable, you get a pony point, so just make sure you speak to the vendor at the stable entrance each time to collect your points and also your rewards. And over time, you're going to build up some great stuff. 
So get the harness on the horse by speaking to the stable vendor, then attach it using Ultra Hand to the fixed carriage. Speak to the stable trotters, they're going to get on, and then take them to the Great Fairy, and this will unlock the first Great Fairy Terror, and she will upgrade your armor. Okay, next up we got Great Fairy Major. So you can find Great Fairy Major at Snowfield Stable in the Tabantha Tundra at the coordinates minus 1630, 2587, 0234, and that is east of Hebra Mountains. When you arrive, you'll see the Stable Trotters, and they are looking for Eustace, their horn player. And after you've spoken to them, you'll get the Serenade to Major side adventure. And once you've got this, select it in your inventory to give you a marker on the map. Follow the marker and you're going to find Eustace down a hole at the coordinates minus 3658, 0760, 0117 and talk to him and you're going to get the quest The Hornist Dramatic Escape. And for this, you need to attach items to his cart to get him out of the hole. And you can do this with the available items down there with him. So feel free to get creative and get him out of the hole or you can copy the flying machine that I've created on the screen now. Once you get him out of the hole, he'll return to the stable trotters at Snowfield Stable and make your way back there. Then you want to speak to the troop again and create a roof for the wagon. So stick a few pieces of wood together using Ultra Hand and then attach that to the top of the cart for a roof. And then you want to make your way to the Great Fairy's location, being careful for the Bokoblins on horseback and that will complete the Serenade to Major and you're going to be able to upgrade more armor. Well next up we got the Great Fairy Katera, so you're going to find the next one at Dueling Peak Stable southeast of West Nekluda at the coordinates 1757 minus 1957 0010 south of Kakariko Village. So have a chat with the Stable Trotters again and they are looking for their drummer. This starts the quest Serenade to Katera. So mark this in your adventure log again and make your way to him. Beats is stranded in the southeast of Kakariko Village at the coordinates 2166, minus 1382, 0108, and Beats asks for some honey, and it also kicks off the quest Honey Bee Mine. So if you did the previous step in this quest chain, then you will already have some honey. If you don't have any honey, then you're going to find some beehives in local forests close to Pierre Plateau. So knock them out of the tree with ice arrows just to be on the safe side, then return to Beats and give him the honey, and then he'll go back to Dueling Peak Stable and you will want to do the same. And that will complete the quest, Honey Be Mine. So once you get to the stable, have a chat with the band and then make your way to the river. So create a raft and attach their wagon to it, and all around the riverbanks you can find fans, wood and a steering wheel, everything that you need to create an effective boat to get them to the Great Fairy. So stick it all together with Ultra Hand, then you want to cross the river and you're going to find the Great Fairy Katera and that will complete the Serenade to Katera quest. Well finally then we've got the Great Fairy Kesa. So you can find the Great Fairy Kesa at the outskirts stable southwest of Hyrule Field at the coordinates 1404-1266-0032 and have a chat with the stable trotters again. And now they're looking for their flute player Piper and this will start the quest Serenade to Kesa. So mark it in your adventure log and make your way to the marker. This one is a little further south this time, so you can find Piper at Highland Stable at the coordinates 0519 minus 3423 0047. And you're going to find Piper in a tree, and he's looking for 10 fireflies to impress a girl. This starts the quest The Flute Player's Plan, and to find the fireflies, make your way north at night to Pagos Woods at the coordinates 0673 minus 3068 0008. And then crouch and walk slowly towards the fireflies to catch them. So this one does take a little time and it can test your patience, but do stick at it and you'll get them in no time. So when you've got 10 fireflies, go back and speak to Piper at Highland Stable and he'll show them to the girl. And this finishes the quest, the flute player's plan. And then he goes back to the troop at Outskirts Stable. So do the same, then fix up their wagon. This time, use Ultra Hand to attach it to the vehicle nearby. And then drive that to the Great Fairy up the hill. And that will complete the Serenade to Kesa. And that is it for all the Great Fairy Fountains.
Well, these stable trotters will thank you, plus you're going to get access to the upgrades from the final Great Fairy. Well, that is about it for upgrading gear, so don't forget about the fast travel points next to the Great Fairy Fountains. Those are the shrines, so when you've got enough materials, come back and make sure you get fully upgraded. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about upgrading armour in Tears of the Kingdom, and that is it for this guide for how to upgrade your armour in Tears of the Kingdom, and also all of the Great Fairy locations. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching, and for more Tears of the Kingdom content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to Triforce Times. Or you can check me out on Twitter, at Triforce Times. Well, if you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.